Introducing the horses race number four to dance fourth, a condition trot. Also eligible $5,000 claiming trotters. Racing one mile, purse $2,500. The fourth race clear, there are no changes. Number one, Fliver. Other than trained by Dan Krabbenny of Richwood, Don Irvin Jr. drives. Number two, Brady Dew. Held by Dwayne and uh, Carol Lowe of Malta. Dwayne Lowe, the trainer, Brad Hanner, is up. Three, Mandy O, owned by Helen Osnagel of Jackson. Rick Hartman trains. Mel Turcott drives. The four, Dusty Gill, owned by Iris Harwitz of Brooklyn, New York. Tim Rucker trains. Debbie Rucker driving. The five, Crown Marie, owned by Susan Hall of Blissfield, Michigan. And R. Nelson of Georgia. Kenny Edwards, the trainer, driver. The six self-imposed, owned, trained, and driven by Dr. Al Gobble of Dublin. Seven SOS Express, owned by Brent Davis of Zanesville. Mac Davis, the uh, trainer. Brent Holland drives. Number eight, to my speed, owned by Gio Elber of Marion. Delvin Criswell is the uh, trainer. Jeff Fowdy in the by. And number nine, Southpaw. Owned, trained, and driven by Don Feaster of Richwood, Ohio. Win, play, show, perfecta, and uh, pick three wagering. Again, races four, five, and six, all three legs of the pick three Fourth tonight. Race condition trotters, Solon behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And they're off, and it's self imposed. First for the lead into the inside. Crown Maria, SOS Express, also sent early third. Far outside is Southpaw. From off the rail comes Fliver. From between horses, moving quickly, it's Dusty Gill around the first turn and on the front, self-imposed. That's the early pace by two. SOS Express has found a seat directly behind the leader. Out of the outside, Southpaw is there pressuring, but he steps it off, goes off stride. Crown Marie also settles in third. Dusty Gill is now fourth, the opening quarter in 29 seconds. Coming through the stretch and a five of the inside, it's Fliver trotting a sixth. Brady Dew off the rail seventh. Comes Mandy Yo to the outside eighth. My speed and Southpaw now back trotting, but trails ninth. Moving through the stretch, and on the front, it's self imposed. Calling the shots here with SOS Express right behind him. Here comes Dusty Gill now. Moving first up to the outside, Dusty Gill, odds on favored, moving up alongside the co favored, self imposed, half in one minute and two fifths. Swinging to the back stretch, and self-imposed won't give up that lead. He battles back on the outside. Dusty Gill will now be parked unless it can clear here. Uh, SOS Express is in the pocket, locked in third. At the outside of fourth, it's Brady Dew, but he's gapping cover two lengths. Inside in five is Crown Marie. To the outer flow, sixth, my speed. At the rail, seventh, Fliver. Racing into that final turn, and self imposed continues to lead again by two, three quarters in 130 as they move to the final turn. Self imposed looking to wire here, but Dusty Gill is right there by nagging a second. SOS Express has yet to be used on the inside, is well rested and ready for the battle in the stretch. Now, less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come, self imposed. SOS Express now down to the inside. Poising a great threat here, and SOS Express moving up late. SOS Express getting up to win it. Trackside, the unofficial winner, number seven, SOS Express, an eight year old at Trotter. Started by Garland at Lobel from the Dream of Glory Mare, Halon's Dream. Home by Brent Davis of Zanesville, Mac Davis trains. Brent Holland in the Sonky. Fourth win of the season, his fastest of the season, 159 and 3. That his second consecutive win here at Sayota Downs. And for driver Brent Holland, two quick wins here this evening, giving him a driving double. Fourth race now official, the $2 Perfecta, 7 6 paying $25, $25.